everywhere you touch, you are transporting and picking up different microorganisms. Microbes live in soil, on buildings, cars, under miles of earth, and on people such as you and I. This shows that microorganisms can thrive anywhere. A healthy river will have the right mix of microorganisms to keep all environmental factors in balance. When one or more of these factors gets out of balance, the consequences, both good and bad, can ripple along to other animals and plants living in the river or using the river for its water source. Within all healthy environments, good microorganisms are present. Some environments may contain more bad microorganisms than good. Bad bacteria love when you or your environment is unhygienic or dirty. They take any chance they get to take over. Remember, bacteria can make copies of themselves very quickly, so just one bad bacterium can make you very sick. The antibiotic kills the bacteria by causing the cell wall to disintegrate. Antibiotics are chemicals that kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria and are used to treat bacterial infections. They are produced in nature by soil bacteria and fungi. They either prevent the bacterial cells from multiplying so that the bacterial population remains the same, allowing the host defense mechanism to fight the infection, or they kill the bacteria. For example, stopping the mechanism responsible for building their cell walls. The emergence and spread of antibacterial resistant bacteria has continued to grow due to both the overuse and misuse of antibiotics. Because of antibiotic overuse, certain bacteria have become resistant to even the most powerful antibiotics available today. Antibiotic resistance is a widespread problem and one that centers for disease control and prevention. Solution. Collect data. Stop mass prescription. Stop antibiotic use in non-needed ways. Research drugs that still work and create more like them. Use these drugs until we find a sustainable solution. As the antibiotics fall, we fall with them.